Welcome to Barlow Barbecue. Hey, listen, if you're on the keto diet, you may want to avert your eyes or go look up another video, maybe on like a nice cauliflower pizza or something. We'll give you a moment to pack up and leave and find another video. And for the rest of you who are still around with us, we got a really good one for you. We're going to make some biscuits and sausage gravy cobbler style on the Dutch oven. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's going to be, be good. It's going to be real good. So listen, stick around and let's get started. All right, folks, this is certainly an easy recipe, but there are a couple steps that we need to do. We need to make some biscuits make some gravy and then we put it all together and bake them off in the dutch oven now if you're a little less crazy than we are and you don't want to try this in your dutch oven outside you can certainly do this inside on your stove top and in your oven let's get started and make some biscuits we're using self-rising flour today i keep it in the freezer to keep it cold everything needs to be cold we're using a frozen stick of butter and I've taken my cheese grater from the freezer and I'm gonna grate it right into here. This is gonna help us make some great layers. Super, let's add the rest of our ingredients. We're gonna add a lot of black pepper, fresh rosemary, Give that a little stir. Now try not to touch this too much because you don't want your butter to melt with your hot little hands. Now we're gonna add some Greek yogurt. This will add a little tang. And we didn't have any buttermilk. It's gonna be great. Here's some half and half because there's not enough fat in there already. Let's give it a mix up. Oh, to heck with this spoon. Just get your hands in there. Once again, handle your biscuits as little as possible. Do this quick. You're just gonna bring it together in a shaggy dough and then give it a couple squeezes. Okay, I've pulled this together into a shaggy dough. It's a little dry, but that's okay. I'll knead it together a little bit. Now I'm gonna handle these biscuits as little as possible. You don't wanna make them tough and you don't wanna heat up that butter. I'm gonna roll this out to about half an inch. This doesn't have to be pretty. If it sticks, just add a little flour. Okay, I've rolled this out to about half an inch and I'm gonna cut it into quarters. and then I'm gonna stack those quarters right on top of each other. This is gonna create our layers. Layers are important in a biscuit. Now we roll this out again and we're almost ready. Time to make the biscuits. As you can tell, I have a very nice biscuit cutter. Be sure to push straight down and this will preserve your layers. Now I'm just gonna pull together the scraps very gently and make my last two biscuits. I'm brushing the tops with butter, lots of butter. and adding a sprig of fresh rosemary to each one, just to be fancy. Oh, that looks real nice. <laughs> Thanks, sweetie. All right, these are all ready. We're gonna put them in the fridge to chill out till we're ready to bake them. It's time now to start cooking our gravy and putting all that together. So we went ahead and lit a half a charcoal chimney's worth of charcoal there. Mm -hmm. 
we're going to go ahead and set our Dutch oven down and uh, let that get warmed up. You want this pan pretty hot. We're going to be doing some sauteing. We're using hot Tennessee Pride breakfast sausage. You use whatever you'd like. Just start breaking it up. We're gonna add some salt, a whole lot of black pepper, a couple pinches of sage, and some garlic powder. You want to keep breaking up your sausage the whole time. Now I'm going to take out just a couple spoonfuls of sausage. Don't worry, we're going to put this back in later. Now I'm going to add some flour and we're going to cook this up for about five minutes. And this takes the taste of the flour out. Now I'm adding some apple cider. Now I'll slowly add some milk. And I'm gonna stir this in and we'll let it simmer until it becomes thick and gravy. This usually takes about 10 minutes. Look at that, super. Yes, indeedy, that gravy does look good. Let's go ahead and get the Dutch oven off the heat, clear out those coals and put it back on because we're gonna cook from the top down. Here's the sausage we reserved earlier and let's go ahead and sprinkle that right on top. And here we go, let's get the lid on there. And we've got another batch of charcoal ready to go and we're just gonna dump that all on top. It's been about five minutes and this sucker is hot. Let's get those biscuits in there. These are coming straight from the fridge. We're gonna pop the lid back on and set a timer for five minutes. It's been five minutes, so now let's give this a quarter turn so we can get even cooking on the inside and set a timer for another five minutes. All right, five minutes later, here we go. Whoo, that was hot. But those are looking real good. I'm excited to eat this. Yeah, let's dish them up and give it a try. I've been looking forward to this all day, y'all. Slimming. It smells so good, I can't wait to try this out. I think those crispy biscuits are gonna be great in there. They're gonna be so good. Get a little bite of sausage here. All right, here we go. I don't think I'm getting a little bite of anything. It's just big bites. Mmm. <laughs> That's real good. Darn Real tootin'. good. Mm. Take another bite here. Take a lot, a lot of bites here. I like the crispy biscuits. Mm -hmm. The biscuits are real good. Nice and buttery and flaky. And that sausage gravy. It has a nice little kick in there. Mm -hmm. um, nice and creamy. The texture is just right for that gravy. I like the apple cider in there. It just gives you just a mm. tiny little bit of sweet. That's it. That's what I'm tasting in there. Mm -hmm. That's real good. Hey, listen, y'all, we'll have a recipe for this, all of this right down below in the description box for you. So hopefully you can try this out for yourself. And uh, listen, we're going to chow down on the rest of these biscuits and gravy. So we're going to say, see you later. We love you. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. And we're going to say, until next time, smoke them, if you got them. That's right. See ya.